Hello everybody, just a quick update. I am back from tour. For those of you who didn't know, I just went on a five day tour with my band The Levitated and are now very, very good friends in Luca. Wow, these past five days have been really awesome. I don't really have anything negative to say about them. Um, going into it, I was pretty nervous as usual with traveling. Um, you never really know what to expect especially with the weather conditions currently throughout most of the country. Um, be it snow, uh, rain, the, just the cold in general. Um, but it went really well. We went and played in Indiana, Kentucky, Iowa, Illinois, and Wisconsin. And all the shows had takeaways from them. Whether it be uh, people we met, or just the way that the sets went and the bands that we got to see that we never heard of. Um, but yeah, I, I'm i really happy with how it went. And we've done one longer tour like this before. Um, we did one in May last year. And that was really good too. But there were a lot of just uh, struggles during that one. Especially because it was our first tour. So there was a lot that we didn't know at the time during that tour. But... <laughs> This tour just went as, as best as it could have given the conditions, and I I wish it was longer, honestly. Um, I'm, I'm happy to be home, don't get me wrong. Like It's awesome to be home and to just relax and to be able to shower uh, more than like once in a week and uh, eat whenever I want and sleep in my own bed. All those are great things, but to be able to go out on the road with like three of my best friends essentially and then another band that I've become really close to just within these past five days it was really special and that's something that you don't really get much of anymore um, comparatively to like when you were in school for example where you'd get to see all of your best friends every single day and you'd make plans for the weekend and you're never apart from each other but it's a lot more difficult to do stuff like that uh, at least for me in, in my current life status because everybody's kind of doing their own thing, whether it's school or work or both. So to be able to go out on the road for five days straight and just have a blast and travel uh, to different states and play our music and meet new people was just incredible. And I, I think that the most special show for me, and I think I think most of the boys, if not all of them, would agree with me, is the or was the Illinois show. And the reason for that is, I mean, partially because it's been a long time that we've been playing in Illinois, our hometown, and more times than not, we always end up being kind of thrown off by the reception we get there. It doesn't really seem like people have ever really taken us as seriously, or they just haven't really cared about what we've been doing, but... This show completely changed my mind. Uh, I got to meet a couple people from, um, or of my subscribers actually at the show, which was really, really awesome. I, I love that, and that hasn't happened too much. Um, but when it does, it's really, really special. Um, but we headlined the show, and the crowd was absolutely insane. I was blown away. Everybody was moving around, and uh, there's people that knew the words. And a lot of just our close friends and other bands and just personal friends were there. Um, my dad was there, which it's always awesome when he can make it out to a show because a lot of shows we play are during the weekdays and he's not able to make it. But he made it all the way out there. It was like an hour or so drive for him. And uh, it was just really cool to see his face in the crowd for a change. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of really special people to me at that show and I wish we could play shows like that over and over and over again I really wish I could just relive that night um, I also got some cool pictures in this place we played in Kentucky it was an art gallery actually it was a live and workspace so these people lived there uh, there was about five or six people that lived there and they just painted and uh, did different forms of art and they host shows too so that was really cool um, I'll probably be posting those pictures either on Twitter or my photography Instagram, which I don't post too often to, but if you'd like to follow that, 
Uh, I'll put it in the comments or something. It's Little Chroma, if you want to check that out. But yeah, just this is just a quick dot. Uh, wow, I apparently still can't talk. I'm a little tired still. <laughs> um, what I was trying to say was this was just a little update. And as far as the future goes, uh, at least like the next week or so, my new album, and I wonder if you feel like I do, comes out on Friday on Bandcamp, and it will be up on all the other like main platforms like Spotify and iTunes and stuff like that eventually. Uh, it shouldn't be too far after the release. And I'll try to hopefully record some new videos soon. Just trying to relax for a little bit and get back into the swing of things, get back into this normal lifestyle again. But hope you all are doing well. I think I should be streaming this Friday as well for the album release, but if I don't, I'll be back into it before you know it. And yeah, that's about it. So hope you have a great day or night depending on where you are. I'll see you guys somewhere, whether it be here or Snapchat or something. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Peace out, guys.